Uh, Hello everyone. Good evening. Uh, Hi. Wednesday uh, evening. Welcome. Evening prayer. Evening prayer. Yeah, it is. Mm. Luke, Cheryl's home and Luke's home. Yep. You may be able to hear him in the background. He's playing his music yep. on his machine. So here we are. And uh, so yeah. the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all people shall see it together. Mm. Page four, four zero four. Mm. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. I'll say this um, song of praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make your face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon the earth, your salvation among all nations. Let the peoples <coughs> praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the peoples praise you, O, Lord, o God, let all the peoples praise you. Then the earth will bring forth its increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. You, O God, will bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear you. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 120. And that's found on page 359 of your prayer books. And we'll say this antiphonally. I call to the Lord in my trouble that he may answer me. O oh Lord, deliver me from lying lips and from the treacherous tongue. What will he do to you and what more will he do to you, O oh treacherous tongue? You are sharp as the arrows of a warrior that are tempered in coals of juniper. Alas for me, I am like a stranger in Meshuk, like one who dwells amidst the tents of Sedum. My soul has been too long among those who are enemies to peace. I am for peace, but when I speak of it, they make themselves ready for war. Back on page 405. God of all power and might, the author and giver of all good things, graft in our hearts the love of your name, increase in us true religion, nourish us with all goodness, and of your great mercy keep us in the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our first reading is our taken from Exodus. Exodus uh, chapter 16. From verses 1 to 21. The whole congregation of the Israelites set out from Elim. And Israel came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month, after they had departed from the land of Egypt. The whole congregation of the Israelites complained against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. The Israelites said to them, if only we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill the whole assembly with hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to rain bread from heaven for you, and each day the people shall go out and gather enough for that day. In that way I will test them whether they will follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, they shall prepare what they bring in. It will be twice as much as they gather on other days. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, In the evening you shall know that it was the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt. And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your complaining against the Lord. For what are we that you complain against us? And Moses said, 
When the Lord gives you meat to eat in the evening and your fill of bread in the morning, because the Lord has heard the complaining that you utter against him, what are we? Your complaining is not against us, but against the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, Say to the whole congregation of the Israelites, Draw near to the Lord, for he has heard your complaining. <clears throat> and as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the Israelites, they looked towards the wilderness, and the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the complaining of the Israelites. Say to them, at twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. In the evening quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew lifted, there on the surface of the wilderness was a fine flaky substance, as fine as frost on the ground. When the Israelites saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. This is what the Lord has commanded. Gather as much of it as each of you needs, an omer to a person according to the number of persons, all providing for those in their own tents. The Israelites did so, some gathering more, some less. But when they measured it with an omer, those who gathered much had nothing over, and those who had little had no shortage. They gathered as much as each of them needed. And Moses said to them, Let no one leave any of it over in the morning. But they did not listen to Moses. Some left part of it until morning, and it bred worms and became foul. And Moses was angry with them. Morning by morning they gathered it, as much as need, each needed. But when the sun grew hot, it melted. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. And our second reading is from 1 Peter 3, verses 17 to 4 2. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if suffering should be God's will, than to suffer for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey when God waited patiently in the days of Noah during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were saved through water. And baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God, for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities and powers made subject to him. Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same intention, for whoever has suffered in the flesh has finished with sin, so as to live for the rest of your earthly life, no longer by human desires, but by the will of God. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hmm. May your word live in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. Wow, powerful reading that Peter reading. Well, well um, it's interesting... Uh, um, this whole question of suffering, and I'm just thinking of it in terms of what's happening in the world at the moment. Mm. I, I heard a, a really interesting quote the other day. I mean, in, it, in and of itself, suffering is not salvific. It doesn't save us. No. Uh, Jesus saves us, not, not suffering. Mm. However, uh, this per same person who, know who noted that also, also said that it is redemptive. 
Mm. It has a way of, or can have a way, when our attitude's right and our faith is there, of bringing us closer to God. Mm. And, and through our suffering, Jesus' own suffering can transform us. The mm. Spirit can transform us. Mm. And I think this is a, a really important thing to mm. remember right now in the, in the world at the moment. Mm. Um, nobody won't like suffering, but I think, I think uh, in the ancient world, certainly in the first century, people had a different understanding of suffering in this way than we have now. Um, we don't like it, get rid of it at all costs would be the, the view. Uh, back then they saw that suffering did have a place in, in, the, in their lives and they, they accepted that. So, And as we know, great. Peter says in his writings that as disciples we are called to suffer. Yeah, that's right. So suffering is part of discipleship and we're in God's hands, mm. but we're called to suffer for righteousness sake. Uh, uh, that, that's the that's a, the call on us, right. is to suffer for righteousness. Well, that, that grates a little bit, mm. a bit on us in our modern world, mm. but it didn't in the ancient world. Mm. They, they, that's they right. They understood it very differently. Yeah, and, uh, but yeah. I think it's good to reflect on that and say, yeah, all right, right, how does that, how can I... Yeah, we're called to come and die. Adjust my life yeah. now accordingly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now we're going to move on to the canticle, the Song of Mary, yeah. the Magnificat. And here was a humble woman who who um, was obedient, mm. immediately obedient. Yeah, sure. Um, and she was only young to it. Yeah, that's time. right. Yeah. She was called to come and die yeah. to lots of things. Mary mm. was. Yeah. So we'll say this antiphonally. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. Who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Lord has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy. The promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. So we come to the prayers now. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now the Lord's Prayer is on page 386. We say this together. Our, Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we come to our uh, collect. Uh, yep. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life of all who put their trust in him, raise us, we pray, from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may ever seek the things which are above, where he reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 Uh, Indecision. So I mentioned to everybody this morning about Luke being in hospital overnight and said I was yeah, waiting, it was waiting a to hear really from tough you. day yesterday. So, <laughs> so, but he he's okay today. Yep, he's good. We, we believe so. Yep. And uh, he's, he's all reset now. New catheter. New no, catheter. No, he was on the brink of infection, but he's prophylactic not now. antibiotics yeah. intravenously last night so to no. stop any infection. Yep. And a night in hospital, totally unexpected. So, so, the, <laughs> so yeah, that's right. So, they, so, so they got in the way of any any forming infection, mm. and uh, that's and, dead now. And he's and they're open. trying a new style of catheter, which is an infection control catheter, silver coated. Mm. So. We're doing everything we can, and in two weeks there's a multidisciplinary team meeting, and all the doctors that are involved, three different lots of doctors, um, will meet and discuss the plan going forward. So we hope to get some resolution. Yeah, how's that, eh? Silver line. 
Catholic. Silver like wine. They're like gold next. Gold next. <laughs> Silver is good no. for, um, yeah, nothing can stick to silver, so that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're really, we're really thanking God for that mm. and mm. praying continually for Christopher to come home from um, Myanmar where mm -hmm. he's stuck. Mm. Um, for those who are dying, we remember them today. Mm. Yeah. And uh, for the... Um, renewing of the elective surgery, um, mm. yeah, and just for the safety of the nurses and doctors and people in the hospitals, porters and security yeah. guards and everyone. Yep, sure. So you you got to go through rigmarole to get into the hospital now, don't you? You have to line up. You have to have your temperature checked. You have mm. to answer the questions. Have you been in contact with anyone with COVID? Have you been travelling? Mm. And then you get a green tick. And you get sent in with your little green sticker. Yeah. Wow. So, that's good. Let's pray. Let's pray. Sure. Mm. Oh, Lord, we thank you that you are forever mindful of us and um, you provide for us, our Father, providing for all our needs. And we pray, Lord, that in this current environment, you'll continue to do that through the channels that you've put in place, governmental channels, system, systemic channels, Lord. All those um, structures in society that we need to obey, Lord. You call us to obey them as if we're obeying you directly. So, Lord, we... Thank you for the structure of our society. And Lord, we pray against um, any groups, neo-Nazi or any other groups that would seek the destruction of our society. Mm -hmm. So Lord, we, we place the whole of our culture, the whole of our society in your hands, knowing, Lord, that you can reshape it, remould it, remake it. But we know that you are a God of order and you do place these things in our lives for our benefit and for the benefit of the gospel being able to be proclaimed. Mm. Because where there's chaos, Lord, people are, are, they go into survival mode and your word is um, not proclaimed as well. So that we do pray for peace in our society. Uh, we pray for an intervention where people are grouping for evil purposes. Mm. Uh, we thank you for the police who um, have the power to break up these kind of uh, protests or whatever. And we just ask, Lord, that, um, that there wouldn't be another form of social terrorism raise its ugly head. Mm. So we pray against those, those people who think along those lines mm -hmm. and Lord we also uh, pray that um, lives would come always before economics mm -hmm. and Lord if you're calling us to live more simply um, so be it mm -hmm. and we pray that economists who weigh up the value of a life um, as per their table that they use um, we pray, Lord, that you would just intervene so that those kind of things will not be able to become the driving force of the uh, pandemic recovery. Hmm. Um, Lord, we do thank you for the a plan for Luke that is in the making and we pray that you will inspire the doctors, that they'll discuss other surgical options for Luke or um, ways of handling Luke so that he won't be traumatised when he has to go into hospital every month. So Lord, we do thank you for the timely intervention yesterday of nurses and um, the registrar at the hospital who insisted that he would um, have his change of catheter in theatre and it would be done under a controlled environment. So Lord, we, that was a shock to me that that was going to happen, but it was better than having five security guards hold him down. So 
Thank you, Lord, for that. And we pray continually for that, that you'll always do through those people who are ministering to Luke the very best for him. And we do thank you, Lord, that you continually do this. We see it unfold and you surprise us all the time. So, Lord, we do thank you in preparation for Anzac Day that um, we are able to remember our men and women who served um, our country and served the mother country too um, at the time. So, Lord, we... We do praise you that um, we will still have um, a celebration and we will still remember. So we thank you. We pray that you will just govern all the plans for that celebration, um, wherever they are, Lord, whether they're overseas, um, Villas Bretonneur or wherever they are, Lord, and um, you know, the, the one at the shrine and, and the one that we're going to put on to. So we do pray that we'll bring honour um, to those men and women who served. And Lord, we, um, we thank you, Lord, that you are a God of peace. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the way, the truth and the life. And Lord, when things are crazy around us and um, big obstacles like this coronavirus hit us, uh, you are bigger, Lord, and you can ultimately shield us. Um, death might take us, but you hold our ultimate life in your hands. And so we have no fear of... Um, a second death. Mm. So Lord, help us to live courageous lives and uh, not give in to fear. And Lord, we pray for the um, leaders around the world, Lord, uh, as they deal with these issues, uh, the coronavirus and so on. Lord, we pray that that those people who may have been uh, enemies in the past or have not much to do with each other, that there will be um, a coming together of leaders, Lord, to deal with this issue, mm. um, coronavirus, and that uh, out of this, Lord, will come a desire for peace as well, mm. uh, laying down of arms. Lord, we pray that, that you will use this time in that way, Lord, to do uh, a great work, a wonderful work uh, mm. in this world. Mm. and bring people to you, Lord. And, and uh, there'll be... Uh, that people will begin to care for their neighbours, look after those who have less. Uh, Lord, we pray that the leaders will be conscious of the suffering within their societies and communities and, 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 and act accordingly, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that... Uh, as many, pe many people seem to be worried about, Lord, that this won't be, uh, in the end, a... a a, a disaster from an economic point of view, Lord, but you will give each what they need. As we've heard in this reading in Exodus this evening, that, that no one will go without, Lord, but mm. their needs will be met mm. uh, by you. Mm. Lord, we thank you for those readings, for your word. In Jesus' mm. name, amen. 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 Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May our Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father comfort our hearts and establish them in every good work and word. Amen. 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 So tonight at 7.30, uh, I'll be on Zoom, as it should be an invitation out to everybody who would like to join for the episode, for the episode one of the Reframe series. Uh, don't, you know, don't worry if you can't see it. Um, I'm always happy to, to replay it for those who miss at some point, and uh, if you can't, we'll make another time. But, but uh, I've, the idea is to show one of these regularly, maybe once a week, 
these episode these episodes and there's ten all together and uh, it really does create discussion and thinking and I think if we approach it if you approach it right it really is quite challenging I think really and makes us and brings us to reflect on our own lives and mm. how you know where's the Lord in my life and or where am I trying to avoid him in my life <laughs> or whatever it might be so so please join me at 7.30 tonight. We'll see you then. Otherwise, in the morning for morning prayer. So have a good evening. Have a good night.